hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is edison and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can interface hc05 bluetooth module to your stm that 2f4 and uh the first thing i want to do is uh, to show you how to set up uh, the bluetooth module so that you can connect it to your pc and uh you press the windows key then you search uh, bluetooth uh, settings uh, and then you go to add bluetooth click on bluetooth you'll see your hc05 module when you connect it to power then uh, connect it will ask you for a pairing password so the default password is one two three four or zero 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 then you click connect then your device is ready to go uh, from there you go to uh, terminal software and uh, you'll find that here on the COM port, there are several ports that you can test uh, uh, whereby you, your HC05 uh, Bluetooth module has been assigned to. So you can uh, start with the COM6, then uh, connect. So when you connect, uh, when the connection is successful, I expect that the blinking rate will change. So I'll click connect and uh, you can see that's not the port. You disconnect and uh, try the next port. Then you can see that uh, the blinking rate has changed uh, to mean that uh, your Bluetooth module is connected to your PC. So I'm going to minimize this and uh, go to a CubeMX, create a new project, then select the board. start project I don't have to initialize the de default mode so the first thing uh, to do is clear the pinouts go to connectivity select you start one then select this in a synchronous mode and uh, enable go to NVIC settings then enable the you start one global interrupt go to uh, parameter settings and uh, change the port date to 9600 then we shall have uh, the LED connected to pin P5 on and uh, lastly go to system call and RCC and enable the ceramic resonator. Go to clock config configuration, uh, select the high speed uh, clock source, then uh, change this to 84 megahertz. Then uh, go to project manager, give your project a name HC05BT. And then select your tool chain then generate code open project then uh, go to application uh, user call and open the main.c let's first build the code then uh, in the user code begin includes i'll include uh, string.h then in the private variable section i want to declare rx data so this is the buffer that you hold the data i uh, received uh, from the bluetooth module then we shall have int flag they'll initialize this to zero then you have a pointer a character I'll copy this and open the I interrupt file and uh, have it here as extern and uh, in the user to one uh, IRQ handler I'll have flag equals one and uh, from there I'll go to MX user to one in it and in user to one I want to enable the interrupt for reception so I'll 
you at enable it and uh, it's from you at one and uh, it's you at it rx and a i'm going to also copy this in the while loop i want to have if flag is equals to one then i'll have it reset to zero then uh, from there i enable the interrupt and before that i want to receive uh, the data available serial port so are you at receive then i'm receiving from you at one and uh, have the pointer and uh, storing data to the rx data then we can receive that characters in a span of 100 milliseconds and uh, from there i want to search so i use the uh, p that i declared as a pointer and we have this function str str and uh, takes two parameters uh, the strings from which you want to search and uh, the strings that you want to search so we have we want to search in rx data and uh, we want to search for the word on so that we can turn on the led since this is of uh, uint type uint h type i want to cast it to a character type and then if the word on is found this function uh, we return uh, the first character to the pointer so with the reference and then if it is equals to O we turn on the LED and then it's GPIOA GPIO pin 5 GPIO pin set then else you reset the pin that is you turn it uh, you turn the LED off and then uh, let's build the code and uh, load the code to our board then uh, fire up a debugging session and in the interrupt file i want to add a, f uh, a breaking point at this point so that we can know whether uh, we have some data received so let's run the code and go back to our serial or to the terminal, Bluetooth terminal, and I'm going to set a word on with the two trading species. Then click set. You can see that uh, we are uh, the uh, user to one IRQ handler was fired because uh, there was some data that is received. So then uh, you continue. And then in the main.c, uh, we can add a breaking point at this point. And uh, when you reset the board, and I'm going to set uh, the characters again. And you can see that it's run until this point. So if the word on is found, uh, it is assigned the first character is returned 
and you can see we already have O. That means now the uh, the LED will be turned on. So the LED is on, and then we enable the I uh, reception interrupt. Then uh, I can remove this breaking point, and. Uh, in this uh, Bluetooth terminal, I can uh, set uh, I can set some macros, and the first one I want to set is kindly remember to use two trading spaces. I'll have on, and I'll name this button as on. Then I'll have off, and I'll have this button is off then save you can save this file anywhere and then uh, now instead of uh, sending or uh, sending using uh, this place you can just press the button on can see that the LED turned on then off then the LED turned off on off on off so thank you guys uh, for following up with me if you have any question kindly uh, leave it in the comment section and uh, if you like the video please share uh, like and even subscribe for more I'll see you in the next tutorial.